G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean and today we're taking a look at another ASUS ROG product. This is the ASUS ROG Strix Go gaming headphones. This is the wired version, goes for $99. I'm gonna get it out of the box, see what it's like, see what it sounds like, and see how that microphone performs. If you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the like button, get subscribed, and let's begin. Alrighty, so the ROG Strix Go gaming headphones. I've actually never tried ASUS ROG headphones or any ASUS headphones uh, for that matter. Let's just quickly look on the outside of the box and see what they talk about. Um, High-res audio, TeamSpeak, Discord certified, Nintendo Switch support as well, which is quite interesting. So they're maybe going towards like the entry-level portable gamer sort of market, not super expensive at $99. Red Dot winner in 2020, so that's more talking about the design and the aesthetics. And then on the back here, you've got instant control at your fingertips, an intuitive ear cup control, enable instant volume adjustment and media playback. So maybe there's some like little dials there. Game on every platform, so it works with a USB-C connector letting you game on basically everything. So PC, smartphones, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, literally everything that you can plug into. A noise cancelling microphone with AI apparently. Um, extreme lightweight comfort, true to life gaming audio, and inside of the box you get the headset, a detachable boom mic, a USB-C to USB 2 cable for adapting it to your console or your PC or your Switch, and a quick start guide. Now in terms of the headphones, they're obviously a USB-C connection. You've got here some drivers that are 40 millimeters inside, uh, in size. Sorry, The driver's material, it says here, neodymium magnets, um, I've come across headphones before that have used that kind of material for the, I guess, the little speakers on the inside, and it does make a difference. Definitely makes everything sound a lot cleaner. Um, in terms of the microphone, it's a unidirectional microphone, and the frequency response is from 100 hertz to 10 kilohertz with negative 45 decibels of sensitivity. So it should do a pretty good job of picking up just the stuff that's coming from your mouth and not too much of you know the background noise and everything else, but we'll have to see how it actually sounds once we get it set up. So let's get this out of the box and see what the construction and how it feels and if it's worth $99. All right, so let's grab the knife and we'll slice along this edge and we'll take this plastic packet off, the plastic protector. For $99 to get something from ASUS ROG is actually a pretty good, uh, I guess, value because generally speaking, ASUS ROG products are more of a premium product and you know you have to fork out a lot more money. Um, there is a wireless version of these headphones, by the way, as well. So if you don't want to get the cabled version, you can spend a little bit more and get the wireless. Um, but that has its own, you know, positives and negatives as well. Let's pull this out of the box. I like this little pull tab. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there's a little plastic pull tab there. It comes out nice and easy. And then this part should just basically undo. And then you've got a little foam protector. Move that to the side. You've got some little protectors for the ear cups. Move those to the side. What's under the underside? What's come out of the bottom here? Let's see if we can get this clear. We've got a USB-C to USB adapter. So that's what they're talking about in terms of like if you want to connect it to a different device or a different console, you might need a cable like this. So that's great. They've included that. You've got here obviously a user manual, warranty card, information about the headset. You've got here the microphone, so we'll get this out of the packet as well. If I can do this on camera nice and clean, try my best. Oh my God, it's so fiddly. Um, nice little microphone. It's nice that it's detachable and you can go ahead and bend it around and that way you can position it in front of your mouth if you want to do that, which is very important. Um, you've got here like a little pop filter, which will hopefully just slide nice and easy onto the top of your microphone like so. So that will do a good job of, you know, getting rid of some of those sounds that your mouth naturally produces when you say words like pop and, you know, words that have S's and T's and things like that. So that's great. And then we've got the headset. So let's get this out of the packet. That's basically it, right? So we'll move this all to the side. Inside the cups, you've actually got some little, you know, little gel packets here to absorb any moisture which is nice, you've got the ROG logo inside of the ear cups, hopefully you guys can see that. Really nice 
beer cups on first impression. They feel quite comfortable and nice and soft and spongy. Um, lots of plastic protectors on them, so we'll go ahead and we'll peel all of that off. But the fact that already you can turn these so that way they're facing or resting on your chest when you're not wearing them is very, very nice. I really like the subtle, I guess, what's that called? Embossed logo of the ROG logos on either cup. And you've got the same thing here up the top as well. Obviously, you know, you can adjust the length by just pulling that out um, and they click. So that way you know like how many steps down you've got it. And then the headband is, you know, basically like that soft PU leather along the top as well. There's not too much of like creak or anything like that. And like they feel like nice and light, but also not bad quality. Like they're gonna break. Usually when you have something really light, generally the quality is a harder thing to sort of maintain because when it's light, it's usually cheap or it's flimsy. But this feels like really, really good. Um, the connector, so USB type C there. So if you want to adapt it, you can go ahead and you can plug that in. Um, and then you've got USB A, so that can go into your computer, your console, um, or your switch, or whatever you might have. And then the little microphone, so that will probably go into the right or left. Okay, so the left ear cup, that should just, ah, oh, so basically when you're putting the microphone in, in order to get it the right way, it can only go in one way. So when you're putting it in, you sort of just spin it around, and it will just line up and slot right in. And that's basically the headphones. Um, there's no inline control because what they've actually done is on the cup, you can see here, you've got your volume up and down. And it's like a little dial that actually doesn't spin and keep rotating. It's kind of like a pull and hold or a push up and hold. So it's like push and hold to go volume up, push and hold to go volume down, which is actually a pretty clever design. Um, and then you've got your mic mute switch there as well. And then in terms of Comfort. Let's see how they actually feel. Oh, you've also got the ROG like Republic of Gamer. Um, I don't know if you can see this on camera here, but Republic of Gamer across the top of the headset as well. So there is no doubt people are going to know what you're about when you're wearing these headphones. You're all about the games. So let's get these on. See how they actually look on camera. Just adjust them a little bit. Okay, first impressions, very light, very, very comfortable. Not too much clamping on my ears or anything like that doesn't feel like these are going to be something that is like going to hurt me after wearing them for a few hours so i think the lightweight aspect have done a great job and even though it's a 40 millimeter driver they've made the cups big enough that they actually have a seal all the way around so they feel nice and i guess like they, they feel fitted is probably the right word to describe how it actually feels right now and then when you take them off, you can have them you know, just resting on your chest like that. Or if you want to have them flat on your desk, you can do that as well. So that's that's really good for $99, honestly. Um, a braided cable, obviously that's you know going to be a, probably a meter and a half long cable. So if you need to extend it, you can just get an extension for that if you need to. But I think for most people, this is going to be plenty long enough. So I think I've said all that I need to say in terms of the construction and the fit and the feel. For $99, feels great, super lightweight, really comfortable. Um, but let's get it plugged into the PC, play some games, play some music, and actually see how this microphone performs and whether or not it is worth your money. Alrighty, guys, so here we are in the gaming streaming setup, and we've got the ROG Strix Go headphones on. We're now using the built in microphone. So, this is your first impressions of the microphone and how it might sound if you were to pick up a pair of these headphones. Um, for probably the last hour or so, I've been playing Call of Duty Warzone, listening to some lossless audio on VLC, playing some hip hop, some dance music, also watching some YouTube videos just to sort of get an idea of how these headphones perform in a variety of different environments and I have to say all the way from you know the hip-hop and dance which has a lot of lows a lot of synth a lot of bass all the way to you know like Call of Duty Warzone where there's a lot of highs and mids these headphones for $99 actually perform really really well and I have to say that everything about these just feels quality there's no distortion no sound is misrepresented. It all sounds like really, really good. And comparing to you know a pair of more expensive headphones that I normally use every single day for like studio monitoring and like listening to audio, for $99, these perform really, really well. I have to say the ROG Strix or the Aura Sync software that you get with these as well is really like quite, 
quite comprehensive where you can you know change the EQ around you can go into the microphone section and you can put on things like noise gate perfect voice AI noise cancellation we might actually do that now and see how that goes so we'll turn on noise cancellation and perfect voice and I mean this voice I mean sorry this room already is pretty quiet so it might not make too much of a difference but let me know did it seem to be I mean something that you would turn on if you had something like the ROG Strix Go headphones up to you I mean it's all personal preference at the end of the day um, but these headphones considering it's a $99 you know simple plug-and-play experience really good software you have a variety of different ways to connect to your you know, console via USB or USB type C to a switch or something like that these are extremely good and I mean the microphone it is going to be perfect for like talking to people on discord even if you're working from home and you need to do some sort of like you know zoom or skype call these don't look too gamery they're kind of nice and sleek and you know don't look too bad so overall i'm actually very very impressed considering this is my first ever time touching these headphones or any headphones from asus i think they've done an outstanding job in compared to brands like logitech which i've reviewed a lot on the channel for 99 dollars, i would say definitely consider these before going out and getting a pair of logitechs or corsairs or whatever you might uh, be considering because I think these are kind of like a dime a diamond in the rough sort of situation. So most people probably wouldn't I don't know give the time to ASUS for a pair of headphones. They're not necessarily known for that. But this is definitely one I'm going to be recommending to a lot of you guys. So let me know what you think. If you have any questions as always let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.